fishing boats and lobster traps. In case you haven't already guessed, we are in the Maritimes. In fact, we're on an island, an island the locals like to call the most beautiful in the world. We're on Prince Edward Island. And you know, the summer of 91 began like most summers here. The potatoes were planted, the hay was being cut, and the lobster were being caught. But then they arrived. This is the 20th anniversary of the Canadian National Street Rod Association National Event. Uh, the name of the event is CanNads. It's been going for 20 years now. It's based theoretically in Ontario, basically, because that's where a lot of our clubs are. But uh, we do have clubs all across Canada, an association of clubs, and uh, Prince Edward Island Street Rod Association is a major supporter and uh, member of the CSRA family. And uh, when they approached us last year about hosting CanNats, we were thrilled to have it come down east. It was great. I've been at this since for 12, 25 years, and you meet so many friends that you've met. You know, over those years, it was just overwhelming. That's what it is. What kind of expectations have you set? What's going to make this the kind of weekend you've been thinking about for the last two and a half years? Well, if you get a thousand pairs, we'll be we'll be satisfied and. It's overwhelming. It, we, there's enough cars here right now to, to satisfy us. <laughs> tell me about this uh, trip uh, and tell me if it's the first time in PI and uh, how you've been doing so far. It's the first time that, we've, that I've ever been in Prince Edward Island, or uh, even on the New Brunswick side. And I spent a lot of time in Quebec and uh, been snowmobiling up in Canada. And I'll tell you what, I've never, never met a person in Canada that hasn't been friendly and helpful and good to us. It's a little expensive up here, but people are nice. Why don't you take it over there and give it a try yeah. and see if it fits. If it fits, great. If it doesn't, just bring it back. An antique has all original parts. Uh, street rod, basically the person takes the body and possibly the chassis, modifies the chassis, puts in a modern engine drivetrain, modern wheels and rims, and starts driving. Most street riders are diehard street riders. They drive sunny days, cloudy days, rainy days, some even drive during the winter. Somebody told me a true street rod has stone chips in the front. Yes. Most people don't want to see the chips on the front because of the money they spend on the paint, but they really don't care. They just want to enjoy driving them. This is the 20th anniversary, and to have it here on the island, uh, just what does it mean to this club? Oh, it means a lot. A lot of a lot of hard work and means a lot. We pull this one off, I think, any more glory than that, I don't know where you'd look for it. I don't want to interrupt you here, but uh, what are you doing? What's the, what are you doing in a garage right now? You're supposed to be at a car show. Yeah, well, our transmission let go, so we had to change it. These guys here were good enough to find us one. So we'll garage. put it back in and we'll be on the road. How long did it take before you got help and, and news that you would get a replacement transmission? Stopped there about 9 o'clock last night. And uh, they said, come down 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. We'll see what we can do. We came down. They had a transmission sitting here for us. So putting it in right now. It says a lot about these kind of events and the people that come to this. Unbelievable. Everybody wanted to help. Everybody helped us whatever way they could. And we'll be back on the road in about an hour. All right. Good luck to you. Thank you. Well, Prince Edward Island, I think, is world famous for its hospitality, and I, we're trying to use this as a large showcase in order to present that to an international group of people. Um, we're hoping that the weather is going to stay in our favor. It's, it's a little bit overcast today, but we're hoping that the sun will be out for the rest of the weekend, and I'm sure that everybody that's here is going to have a, a, a very good time, and uh, I would guarantee that our hospitality will come through from right, right from the start of the show to the conclusion. How are you doing? So this is a 1931 Ford Coupe five window, yeah. chop channel, kicked 18 inches, and uh, she's the last of your original rods. Everything in it is the way it was set up between the 50s and 60s. It was started in the 50s, and the young fellow that took it over from his father finished it in the 60s. So it is your original rod, and it's all metal. The whole thing is metal. And then I do a lot of the work on it now. I do the touch-ups on the paint and. Anything, if I break down, I have to fix it. Who did the paint job on the back? Harry Martin did the paint job on the back 12 years ago. I brought it in for a pinstriping job, just something simple. 
and I came out with this. <laughs> it looks like a genie. It is. It, my name is Gene, and he did a genie coming out of a bottle. He just got so excited with the car, he just went crazy on it. And But he charged the same price as the pinstriping job. So I was pleased. <laughs> It's going to mean quite a bit to the local community, the accommodations, the meals, um, just the amount of gas that'll be, that'll be purchased in order to keep all these vehicles running means a great deal. The local community all over eastern Prince Edward Island is going to benefit in, in a large way because we have been able to secure this 20th annual Street Rod Association car show.